today I am bringing a very highly requested video from my Instagram and it is a barn vlog. But it's not just any barn vlog, no. Since I am getting ready to go to the Angelstone Tournament show in this, it is actually a show preparation vlog complete with some GoPro footage. Anyways, I really hope you enjoy. Stick with it. a lotus up and getting ready for our ride and I'm calling it a show pet vlog because they don't actually leave to the show which is Angelstone until the day after tomorrow but since it's two weeks of showing I like to give them the day off before they leave today I'm just giving them their final rides getting them all set up and prep for the show We love a good pre-ride cuddle. It's a ritual. I am riding Lotus first and we are just gonna work on some poles. We did a really, really fun hill work day yesterday where we went on the hill and we just cantered up and down and he he was so excited. He was really just having so much fun and so was I. But now today we're back to doing arena work, which I'm honestly pretty happy with. So yeah. So right now, because of the coronavirus, our barn has a couple of rules, which is why you'll see me wearing this um, inside the barn and gloves and everything. But also we have a time limit. So because I have two horses, I get two hours of the barn because for every horse that you have to ride, then you have one hour to spend at the barn. Lately, my amazing dad has been helping me just so we can tag team it. While I'm riding Lotus, he's currently actually grooming Eleven and getting him ready for me. That way we don't have to sacrifice on ride time and we don't have to sacrifice on giving them prop proper grooming to fit each horse in that one hour slot. So I'm really grateful and that is also what is popping right now. Okay, let's get this flat started. Do you like one of those master class instructors? talking to myself on my GoPro. Oh, good distance. Oh, balance. Let's bend you. horse I really need to do lots of transitions with him since that is what they asked for in the flat phase and halt. Good boy. So that transition wasn't as clean as I wanted that I wanted just like to go from walk straight to like canter with no trot steps in between and back to walk. He struggles with this probably the most, it's probably the hardest transition for us, the canter to walk. He's just so eager to go forward and everything. Okay, so that was what I was talking about, that transition, yum. So we're doing our counter canter right now. I'm just gonna do a lap of it just to work, work on him, being more used to it. The worst is like when you swap counter canter leads right from the judge, like that happened to me at Caledon in the flat days. So I would love to avoid that. You know, I'm actually just gonna do it with no bend work that even more. Also at the counter canter is a collect gate. This is not very collected right now. And I'm going to go across the diagonal. And then I'm going to keep him on this canter. So I'm going to counter canter the diagonal. Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Oh, you swap. Dang it. Okay. You can do this. I believe in you, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Okay. 
no thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's really funny sometimes. I don't know if you can hear, but there's literally a helicopter or a plane. I don't know. I don't know my my aviation, but it's up there right now. So my dad is here now, and I think Eleven is waiting at the barn for me. It's Eleven time now. Sorry for lighting. It's kind of weird. It's almost nighttime now, so it's like the sunset and everything. It's pretty dark actually right now. Do you ever have like those days where your horses change size? Like today, Eleven just seems super tiny to me. And some other days, they just seem like really big. Dad, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's back from his walk with Lolo and I'm just starting to get Eleven bridled up right now. He's all bridled. Good boy. <laughs> that was really rough. Good boy. Now it's Eleven's turn for a ride. We're gonna work on the same things with Lotus, except Instead of doing all these transitions, since he's pretty good about them and we're not really tested on them anyway, I'm going to be spending the focus on extensions and collections and lead changes because lead changes are what we're struggling with the most. And also we're going to do some pole work because I haven't jumped or done poles with him since we got, actually since the show last week. So I definitely need to work on my eye with him. Peep the socks. They're like little foxes and I'm really living for them. We're going to do the big stuff. But yeah, I love fun socks. I honestly love nighttime rides so much. Like, I think they're just so peaceful and so cool. Like, there's no heat. The only bad thing is that there's bugs, and Eleven hates bugs. I think it's so funny how different my horses are, but people don't realize that because they look similar. Like, they're both tall bays with a star on their forehead. People just, I think, that because they look the same, they might ride the same, which is so not true. So for example, on the flat, Eleven is definitely very quiet. He's pretty lazy on the flat. Like you really just have to make sure he's listening to your leg. Lotus on the other hand, as you saw today, is quite strong and eager on the flat. If he's tired, then he'll be, you know, slow. And once they're jumping, they're both fairly quick. The sun's gone down already, so. That's also what I hate about like August weather. It's so sad, cause like, the days start to get shorter because in July they're always getting longer. You're like, yep, it's summer. But then in August, you're like, oh no, fall's coming, school's coming, the summer fun is coming to an end. Extensions and collections. Go, buddy. And collect. Down the side. Oh, okay, what was that? Jeez, okay, I lost my stirrup. <laughs> Funny buddy. He like never spooks. So that was really funny. Eleven was also very good. He's just a little bit sassy right now because it's like a little bit cooler out, I guess, and we haven't ridden that late at night in a hot sack, like when there's literally no sun. But he was very good. We like it when Eleven has extra energy. The boys have been ridden and now I'm just getting to my least favorite part of showing, which is packing. So currently, I'm just packing things that I rode in today. So my gloves, my crop can all go in here. My helmet's 
all in its thing and ready to go in. This bag are my tall boots, so that can go inside the trash. Now here comes the tack. So we have Lotus's bridle and girth, we have Eleven's bridle and girth, a running a running martingale and a stud girth, and Lotus's hunter bridle and his standing martingale and some curb reins in case he needs them. So this is all the tack that I need to fit into what's left of the space in this box. Luckily, I get to take out all of his um, standing wraps and bandages. So that is just so good. So then I have that space to put his tack in. Speaking of removing, I'm also taking out these fun polos because that's added weight to the trunk that we don't need. Even though they're super light, it's still added weight in space. A packing tip is to always pack the hardest to fit items first. So the stud girth is pretty big and it takes a lot of space. So I'm gonna shove it in my trunk first. That way I don't have to worry about it later. Before the trunk is totally squashed, I'm just gonna show you what's in here. So I have obviously my crops, one for schooling and one for showing here. My show pad, a bathing bucket with a licket and just some of my soaps. And then over here, underneath I have obviously the boots, but then I also have um, different sprays. And then in here I just have my little essentials that I need, like treats and sticky spray and leather care, etc. This is the end result of what's in here. So I have my girths here and my flash and my extra curb reins. And then here are where all the bridles and martingales are. We're all packed, so that is great news here. I'll show you what it looks like. We have my saddle on top, and then we have my two sets of wraps for the boys. We are all packed, yay! Well, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I sure had fun making it. And now, of course, we always end them with treat time for the ponies, so here you go. Thank you for watching, and Subscribe for more videos like this and if you enjoyed it like and comment and share We'll see you next time